hello my lovelies it is time to dish with d thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority my name is denise welcome to my channel we dish everything healthy lifestyle light and delicious food friendship and maybe a few hack here and there and some hauls and some fun stuff and lives and all that fun stuff so if this is something you want to be a part of join our community click that subscribe button below there and join us it doesn't cost you anything and you never know it just might help we also have the best, I have to say this, Facebook group, all on Facebook, is the Dish With D crew. If you are suffering, and you're lonely, if you're just not feeling anything, join the group, it might help, it might. So it is Saturday here today, and today is time for my weekly weigh-in and the meeting topic du jour. I currently go to meetings in the Turnersville area of New Jersey. I didn't get there this week because we have a wedding, I'm actually filming this on Friday. Let's call it what it is. I'm filming this on Friday. I got waiting this morning at home. I'm the same, so we'll get that out of the way, which isn't bad. I was out all night partying. Um, I had eighth grade dinner dance to attend. So honestly, that's a win. That's a win for me. I was the same. Um, I normally, like I said, attend meetings 8.30 in the morning in Turnersville. Before we continue, I'd like to invite you next week, the 25th, Saturday, is an open house for WW. So you're all welcome to come sit in a meeting and see what it's like maybe you want to join us meet the leader marianne she's fabulous and you could see me and rose we sit there so i am inviting you so if you're local in the area come to my ww workshop 8 30 is when the meeting starts you can get their doors open i think 7 45 come you've got nothing to lose you just never know maybe you like it maybe you want to join us you just never know you know so let's get to the meeting topic at hand shall we I did talk about, yeah, I just didn't mention my way and I'm like, which was honestly, um, it was a good, it, I had a good week. Uh, I didn't, you know, you never know what the scale's going to say. You just don't. Um, so I was happy with that. I was because like I said, being out last night, having a dinner late, oh, it was delicious. And I had a nice meal. I even had a dessert. I had a little cannoli because you know, you can indulge in a cannoli. Leave the gun, take the cannoli, Luigi. All right, how to build a successful morning routine. My girl, Nicole, she's been batting it out of the park here. Let's see what, how, let's see how she does with this one. All right, I haven't looked at it yet. <sighs> let's see, do I like what they have to say? I always have to remember, it's not about me. I mean, you guys could be just hearing this for the first time, so I'm trying to be a little bit better with that because I know this could be really hitting home for you. Maybe I think it's ridiculous and not making much sense, but it might make sense for you. So I'm trying to be more mindful of others. I'm trying. All right, the perfect morning routine. It doesn't exist. Okay, fine, maybe it's walking up on a yacht to fresh coffee, a gourmet breakfast, and absolutely nothing to do. But until then, think about your current to-dos and how they can set you up for success today. Try this. List the things you do each morning and how much time it, they take. Pay special attention to anything you want to stop doing. Make a list. Well, maybe that might work for you. Um, so yeah, if you want to make a list, by Joe, if you make a list. I don't know. I mean, I kind of have in my idea what I want to do. Maybe I should write it down. Maybe Nicole has something that I don't know. I'm not a list person. I don't write a lot of things down. Do I depend on my memory too much? Probably. Do I forget a lot of things? Yes, I do. So maybe I should make a list. <sighs> Pay attention to anything you want to stop doing. In the morning routine, hmm, all right. Here's her list. Brush teeth, two minutes. Brew coffee, five minutes. Snooze alarm, nine minutes. Scroll social media, 15 minutes. So she has checks off by brushing your teeth, brew coffee, no snoozing the alarm, and no social media scrolling because that takes 25 minutes to do both of those things. Think of a small but mighty action you could add to your routine to help you build a healthy habit. Guesstimate how much time that will take. Here's some inspo. Track sleep in the WW app. One minute. I do do that. <laughs> Drink an extra glass of water. Two minutes. I do do that. Oh, my routine's not too bad, is it? Three. Meditate. Three minutes. 
honestly. I'm not meditating in the morning. Maybe before bed I'd meditate, but I'm not meditating in the morning. Okay, sorry to call. Stretch, five minutes. That's a good one. It's always good to, I normally stretch when I get out of bed just to, you know, bones get old, you know, you gotta stretch. So I think that's a good one. Prep and pack lunch, six minutes. Well, I eat lunch at home, but if you're at work, that would be a great part of your morning routine. Write in a gratitude journal, seven minutes. I'm not a writer. I'm not. I, I try. I buy all the things to write and I just don't. So I think something like that is like beyond who I am. Like, I think you have to recognize what you're capable of. Not that I couldn't do it. It's just not something that in my, what do we say, my network, in my, like how, what I'm made of. I don't write. I think I create a lot in my head, but I don't write the journal. I don't. And I have to tons of journals that I don't use it's so all right sorry about that Nicole make the bed and tidy up 10 minutes I do do that walk around the block 15 minutes I will be doing that because once I'm done with school I think about taking a morning walk and I think that's definitely going to fit into my morning routine I used to do that so I want to get back to doing that I think that would be fabulous so I do like that and she allowed 15 minutes I will tell you once I started doing the walk, I do a mile, my development, if I go all around the outer parts up the one block and around, it is exactly a mile. And it takes me about 17 minutes. So I think that's a good, a good clip. And I'm, I'm going to definitely put that into my, definitely into my morning routine. Pick one or two of those actions and decide how you'll fit them into your morning. Maybe you'll wake up earlier. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Swap it for something you want to do Pair it with a habit you already have locked in. I like the pairing idea. Getting up early, I don't like. Let me tell you something. Sleep is incredibly important. It is. If you're not getting the proper, and this is not part of the topic, but if you're not getting the proper amount of sleep, I'm telling you, it sets the tone for your day. And if you're not, if you're not well rested, you're not going to do any of this, you're going to be cranky. So I would add definitely getting a good night's sleep. If you're not going to bed on time, if you went to bed late, maybe hit, I, I don't recommend snooze. I think snooze really, you make up, you wake up feeling worse, but I actually would definitely, depending on what kind, I definitely require seven hours of sleep. I know that's a lot. I actually could do eight, nine on a good day, but I can do seven and not be cranky. Anything less than seven, I'm a cranky person. I am. And it sets the tone for the day. So if you're already waking up with that, it's uh, none of this is going to even going to happen because you're just out of funk. So it's basically finding your, to me, you got to start with finding your sweet spot for sleep. And then we can tackle all of this because let me tell you something, you don't get a good night's sleep and you're running around like a chicken. There are some, now there are some people that could do that. There are people, I think it's just in them to do things like it's like, you know, we all have like our little um, quirks that that tick we have. For me, it's chatty. It's just I talk, and I'm a putzer. But there's people that have to be busy because they don't know how to relax. Me, I tend to know how to relax and not know how to really, you know. Once I get involved in something, I'm better. But I'm more of I can definitely zone down when I need to. All right, I read that. Okay, instead of scrolling through the Instagram when I first wake up, I'll get up and start my routine with a 15-minute walk. I mean, I can understand. I mean, social media is a black hole. It, it truly is. And you're, it's a sitting thing where you're sitting there scrolling, not getting any activity. So they want you to get up and move around. Bottom line, that's what they're basically telling you. Doing things that get you ahead, making your lunch, so you're gonna pack the proper things so you're not throwing it together and then getting like some things that really aren't the best things because you didn't have time to really sit there and make a nice wrap with some lettuce and some veggies and some protein in there. You threw together a peanut butter um, uncrustable because it was quick. Not that anything wrong with peanut butter uncrustable, but a nice healthy tortilla with those little carb ones with some mayo or some mustard and some greens would be the preferred thing to make. But sometimes we're too busy, so we'd throw, so we'd stop at this convenience store and pick up something in the deli, like a chicken salad wrap, which probably has 5,000 points and 9,000 calories. So they want us to really concentrate on making these things. So we have to find time. It's basically finding new time. Let's call it what it is. It's finding a routine that really set, centers you. Like the, the you know, with the meditation centers you, the walking centers you, getting what you need done 
centers you. And when you can start your day off centered, you'll make better choices the rest of the day. True bomb, truth bomb. Let's dive a little deeper. Mornings can sometimes get hectic, especially when you have a family. And it's easy for the chaos to have a domino effect on the rest of your day. Didn't I just say that? Oh, I do know what I'm talking about occasionally, just occasionally. That's why getting into a routine that prioritizes your health and wellness for the minute you wake up can be helpful. Making those better for you choices in the AM can set you up for keep making those choices throughout the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is so true. When you wake up and you start off on the other side of that eight ball, there's no stopping you. But when you start off behind the eight ball, very rare is you get in front of it again. Post a new routine on the fridge or add it to your notes up so you can stay on track and time. Remember, change doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't. So if it doesn't happen tomorrow, does it mean you're a failure? No. It just means you just know what you need to work on and you just to have to take those baby steps to get there and you will i'm sitting here you're you could be sitting here too don't be afraid to switch things up if you realize they're not working maybe you can shorten your walk or stretch for five minutes instead absolutely if the walk is too long go for a 10 minute walk you know what i'm saying like there's different things or fit the walk in a little bit later but there's definitely things you can tweak find your sweet spot but you got to try I can't do it for you. You have to try to find a routine in the morning. Like I said, when you set the morning up, and I definitely, definitely think a good night's sleep sets the tone for the rest of the day. I, I firmly believe that. If you're not sleeping properly, you're not sleeping enough, it's just gonna chaos because tired Denise makes bad choices as bad as hungry Denise does. Once you find a routine that works for you, try to stick to it even when you're having a tough day on this journey. Instead of writing it off as yet another thing to do, Think of it as a chance to reset and get back to smooth sailing. Didn't eat the way you wanted to eat today or missed your step goal? No biggie. Lean on your new morning routine to start mornings on a different note. There's a reason we talk about routines so much. They're powerful tools to help you ground you in your journey to bring you closer to your goals. When you can get something done, and you get that positiveness, like you feel accomplished. Accomplished Denise makes better choices. She feels empowered. So it's they're going to empower you to get control of things. And the first thing to control is wake it up in the day. And that's how we can control. Find what you want to do. Maybe you should make a list. You know, my whole routine is going to change when school's out next week. I have a whole different routine. You know, before it was get up get in the bathroom, get washed up, come downstairs, take the dog out, have breakfast, scroll the interweb. See, I have to scroll the interweb. I have people that leave comments. I have emails I have to check. So I definitely have to fit that in my morning routine. I don't have time. I do stretch in the morning upstairs. I don't have time for a walk at work, but I do walk at work. But now my new routine is gonna be getting up, stretching, going to my bathroom. That's all gonna be the same. But when I come down, taking the dog out is always the first thing. I might go for my walk and then come home and make breakfast. I'm not going to pick up my interweb till later. I'm going to make specific times for that. And I do that now. I, If you notice, sometimes like, well, D, you don't reply to comments. When I shut down, I shut down. Just because I'm, I'm involved in social media doesn't mean that I'm available 24 hours a day. I can't. I can't live like that. I have to have specific time. I don't check my email all the time. When people say, I, I emailed you, I, I get you email me, but I don't have notifications on. That's another thing that keeps me grounded. Not seeing my phone go off. I don't need to see my phone go off. You know what? If my kids need me, they'll call me. Honestly, I, I don't have to need. Only thing I have notifications on is a text message. And I look and see what it is. Eh, I'll go back to them. I don't have to open it. Unless it's the boys. Other than that, I don't need to get back to you till later. And that's the same thing with email. Some people check their email. They, they get notifications when their email comes in. Yeah, no, don't need that. Don't need that. That's more stress, more things on my plate. When it's time to check email, it's time to check email. I check email twice a day. Later in the morning and later in the evening. I don't check it constantly. I just can't. Same thing with the comments and stuff that I thank you so much for leaving. You notice I don't always answer them right away because there's a time I sit and I just do comments. 
and don't ever stop doing that. I love your comments. I do, but I just don't have time to 24 days, hours a day to sit there and constantly look at comments because I have to have downtime. I think we all have to have downtime and I have definitely have a routine for social media. I think we all should. I don't think we should live and die by our social media. There's a time and a place for it. I mean, there is sometimes it's, it's relaxing. I do it. I'm going to be honest. I scroll social media on the toilet there. I said it. I do. There's 10 minutes, 12 minutes, sometimes 15, that I'm sitting there and that's when I scroll social media. So yes, if I've answered a question, it's probably I was on the toilet. So you can think about that next time you see my response. Is he on the toilet? Probably. So yeah, that's that, yeah. And if you're still here after that comment, I love you. Thank you. But yes, definitely, I would say start with a good night's sleep. That sets the tone for any routine you're going to have. If you're tired and cranky, not much is going to happen and you know how much sleep you require i don't we all require different sleep so there's people out there that probably don't i have somebody oh i only sleep four hours i'm like really i don't know I, and since my sleep apnea you know i got on the machine it's even better i don't take naps at all during the day i don't need to i am well rested i haven't napped since i got my machine not even a little bit mm -mm. I'm not tired. I don't feel like taking a midday nap ever. I, I don't I don't think I've taken a nap since maybe New Year's Eve. Oh, because we're going to be out late. That wasn't this year. It's been a while since we've been out for New Year's Eve. Uh, wonder why. Um, so yeah, I haven't even tried that. So I haven't napped in a really long time. So that's a great thing. That's because I'm all rested. Well rested people like that. Like when I get enough sleep with my machine. So, but that's how I suggest start with a good night's sleep. And then start with how you want to start your day. Stretching is great. A bit skincare. Let's just say that you definitely should throw skincare in your regime. I forgot about that. I come. I do that when I come down. I wash my face in the morning. I get all cleaned up upstairs, and I have all my skincare in the bathroom down here because you know, we have two bathrooms, and sometimes they're up there. So I do my skincare downstairs. And let me tell you something. I look forward to that every day. It feels so good to get that eye cream in there and the moisturizer, it is like, what's my favorite part of the day? It's the way I treat myself. And let me tell you something, it feels amazing. And when you feel that good, you just wanna get out and start your day, cause it's fabulous. So may I recommend starting a skincare routine? Now you could do body if you wanted, like body butter. I will say Josie Marin's Aragon Body Butter is tremendous, I get on QVC, is phenomenal. Your skin will feel like a baby's bottom. It's just so, it's luxurious and it's just cream. But doing that, giving yourself that little pampering, it just makes you feel so good. So yeah, the, I definitely, if you don't have a good skincare routine, you need to start one. And you will see how that just propels the rest of your day. Your skin feels good, it glows, you look good. And when you look good, you feel good, let me tell you. And then you can start your going for your walk, get your breakfast, take care of your dog, take care of your kids. Notice I put dog first, then kids. <laughs> Maybe kids, then dog. And get that ready and get your day started. And I'm telling you, the rest of the day will go so much better when you're, you don't have chaos in the morning. I will say, as chaotic as my life is, I mean, like, I'm just never organized. And I say that all the time. I'm not. But I definitely have a morning routine that I do pretty regularly. I never really thought about it until this topic. So, yeah, may I say sometimes the topic, when you think about it, you don't realize. But, yeah, I definitely have a morning routine that I definitely do. So, that's my routine, you know. And I will say, skincare feels good. So, that is it. Thank you so much for coming to the end of this. If you made it all the way through, thank you so much. Remember to thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what your routine is, what you do in the morning. I like to hear. Maybe give me some ideas. Maybe I'll change up mine because I got a whole new life starting. You know, I'm starting a whole new chapter of my life. So my routine is going to change. It's going to adapt to it. Your routine has to adapt to how your life is going. So mine is definitely going to change. I'm hoping it changes for the better. Hmm, I'm a little excited. And let me know how you did on the scale this week. Remember, we don't always have a loss and it's okay. It just is. Like we were talking about the other night on the live, I'll go into this real quick, about Oprah apparently has these, these gummies. I don't know, she's promoting these gummies. I don't know, I've never seen it. I really don't know. But I, I said and I'll say it to you guys, there's no magic gummy. There's no magic pill. There's no magic drink that will help you lose weight. I wish there was, I'd take it. You just have to be disciplined and you have to track your food and know what you're eating so you can fit treats in. 
you can I have treats I fit them in because I know what I'm eating and the only way I know what you're eating is putting it down in your app or your tracker or your paper or wherever and that's how you get the good stuff in because you, you know what you're eating if you sit there and try to remember it how many times I forget what I eat I do so track it make sure you eat more like I said I wish there was a magic pill gummy drink that helped it doesn't good nutritious calories help and if you're not losing and you're not eating your points that could be one thing too you have to be eating enough and people want to blame weight watchers i will say they give you weekly points so if you're not eating them and you're not eating enough that could be a problem so check out your calories check out the yeah, you might have to adjust your number of daily points i do i just i eat more daily points because i know that I'm not eating enough. And th this new metric system on this personal points has really messed with a lot of things. Things are low in calorie and high in points. So you have to realize you gotta, you, they're telling us to use our, they're giving us points for vegetables because they want us to eat more. So we need to do that. So take my advice, eat good stuff though. Don't be eating a bag of Doritos cause you got points. Eat another piece of whole grain bread, you know, eat another piece of, eat a pork chop. It's better than eating a piece of a bag of Doritos, you know. Eat something good, you know. Eat a built bar for crying out loud. <laughs> so I've talked way too much, and I go on and on and on. But that is it. Again, thank you so much. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you didn't, let me know. Say, hey, do you suck? I can handle it. Not everybody has to agree. That's how life goes. So I will see you. I will not have a video. Well, I'm not, I shouldn't say that. I will not have a meal prep video off this weekend. There may be a cookbook review, though. My Hungry Girl magazine came today. So maybe Sunday when we come back from brunch, maybe I'll like do the Hungry Girl cook. We'll see. If not Sunday, definitely Monday. Because, you know, I got to open it up. It's sitting there and it's like, I got to see it. So, you know, my girl Lisa Lillian, she never lets me down. All right, I've again, I keep chatting. I guess I just wanna sit here and chat with you guys, but I gotta head out. Thank you for watching and I will see you sometime. Bye guys.